Hello YouTube, welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Keeper 2 with me Varex. Uh, I was going to record this a little bit earlier today, but I felt a little bit tired. I uh, decided to have a lie down, slept for two hours in the middle of the day, which isn't good. But uh, now I'm wide awake, and so let's continue our, our campaign of destruction, death, evil, and chickens. Lord Pureheart has resisted the onslaught of Nemesis. Our rival has retired from battle, and I believe he has decided to try and recruit the enigmatic Dark Angels to his cause. We must hurry to discover their location. If Nemesis finds them first, he will be all but unstoppable. Harkon and Carrion, two of Nemesis' finest keepers, have begun the quest. Yes. Dark Angels are awesome, but not Dark Angels. Now we're onto this level. Cherish. The monks of Cuthbert the Thrice Martyred have gathered to crush the feeble keeper Malleus. Whilst being a comparative weakling, Malleus is cunning beyond his years and has allied himself with a legion of the undead who will fight for him because of the benefits that the portal gem will give to them. He hopes to turn the entire chapter into vampires. And if he was successful, he would prove to be a powerful adversary. His plans must be halted. Hmm. This was the first level that I thought vampires appeared on, but it turned out to be the last level. Um, but this is the one that I remember vaguely, is in the theme of it. Vampires and monks. Vampires and monks, people. Let's do this. Behold the monastery of Cuthbert the Thrice Martyred. See the pious monks perform their holy customs. Oh, so peaceful see. But somewhere, lurking in the shadows, hides the rival keeper Malleus, poising, ready to attack. He'll slay the monks and turn them into vampires. Then he'll turn on you. But it's in your power to prevent this carnage. Not that carnage is all bad. Yet in this case, such prevention may be worth the prize, the portal gem, which Malleus holds with undeserved pride. Freeze trap. Alright. <clears throat> wow, we got a lot of space here. Uh, no gold though, so let's grab some... Oops, sorry, let me suggest my headset there. Grab some of that initially. I think this leads you into the thing. And here's some monks that we need to grab. We have six goblins running around. We need to get their creature comforts sorted out straight away, so we'll go ahead and do that. Um... Let's make this room bigger as well. Uh, that can be like something, that can be something else. Uh, let's extend this out and then just mine this bit of gold here. Um, there's one up there as well, isn't there? So let's grab that. Should probably do with a um, treasury as well. <coughs> Maybe make this room a treasury. We need a little one, really. Can extend it later if we need to. And of course, we need a hatchery, but I've run out of gold. But I think I put the hatchery here. Or here. Yeah, we can have this sort of going around like that. And this could be a training room. Or this. Anyway, um. More golds for us to get. Let's do that. We gotta go and convert these monks. Now, monks are um, healers, pretty much. I forget what other spells they have apart from heal. Maybe an armor spell, but whoa, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, heroes there. But the thing with monks is that they once they kill a vampire, uh, it's dead for good. So the idea is that we convert lots of monks, which means I need a prison and a torture chamber. So that works, and. Um, And then we're able to kill the, uh, the 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 vampires that this dude's getting. It's kind of the theme for this level. All right, so that's all done anyway. Now we have all of the um, rooms that we need to make people our creatures happy. Now we just have to wait for our gold reserves to increase slightly. I think this is the only. Seems to be a lot of. Uh, heroes there for six goblins. What level are they? One? One? Yep, alright, so definitely next time we need a training room. I'm gonna put it there because I think this 
goes into the actual realm and so if they actually break through they'll have to go through the training room where there's no doubt you know this, this fight is going to be there so hopefully that will um you know slow them down i won't have to move so many creatures around Eleven thousand. how much is this going to cost us all right we're going to build that anything to research we've got another spell as well so it might be worth us actually um make this library a little bit bigger. This is going to be a library. This, I'm not sure yet. Could, we could have two prisons. <clears throat> or we could have a, we could indeed have a graveyard and get our vampires for ourselves. That will require a lot of gold though and uh, we are running out of the gold that we can find. Alright, let's build across there. Then if anything comes down here, i.e. dwarves, they'll break into this little tunnel first. Not straight into our lair. And that's all rock. That's good. Let me just have a little... Uh, I was going to check that bit in case there's a secret there, but it seems unlikely. Um, oh yeah, now I don't have room for a... Uh, <laughs> uh, a thing, yeah. A thing. A workshop, so that can go there. Actually, maybe not. Or maybe. Maybe I can go in there. Yeah, that's kind of near our lair and hatch. We'll build it in there. Even it out a bit. Hmm, doesn't really matter about that one. But yeah, okay, workshop in there. Um, library here. Graveyard, potentially. Prison. Torture chamber. Okay, good. We've got a plan. We have a plan. Hopefully it will work fine. We've got 27,000 gold in there and 16 here, so we're actually getting quite full. So, well, it's going to be built soon enough anyway. Decent sized uh, workshop. And then I can put that there. Of course, the thing I'm neglecting is that we don't actually have a portal yet. So, um, that could be problematic for sure. Alright then. Um, well, I guess we should mine. Well, not mine. Actually, not yet. We'll wait. We shall wait and bide our time now because of this. Also, leaving this gold here is a little bit um, of an early warning system because if this, if this starts disappearing, then I am well aware that there's something coming. There's the rest of the monks there. It is quite important, though, that we actually capture these monks and convert them. So. I do need this gold in order to finish my dungeon off with uh, a prison and a torture chamber, so we do need some more gold. I think I was a little bit ambitious with the size of that. Didn't think that one through, did I? Look, if we build around here, I know it'll make our dungeon more efficient, but it will also stop it being penetrated. Um by dwarves digging. I don't think they will go through the through here, honestly. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, better safe than sorry, you know. Me, 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 me. So now they have to go all the way around there. And we can actually build that and extend this out. Make it a little bit bigger. We'll actually have an, a different sort of shape for this. We can make it that big. That's as big as our treasury is going to go, even though <laughs> yeah, it's um it's, we don't have that much gold to put in it honestly, but so we should be getting in, in, an influx of gold now regardless which is nice how much will this be? 27,000 also, imps, I wouldn't mind it if um you reinforce that, those the walls there just to complete the dungeon off because I'm pretty happy with this, this is quite quite nice, quite well laid out I keep forgetting how much I need for this 27 I'm really tempted just to put a doorway into there and, and the only reason I'm not doing it is because it's like, it's not proper! You know? 
It makes my dungeon less perfect, but let's do it anyway. Let's do that. Because we have to get all this gold as well, so bringing it straight into the hatch, the hatchery, the treasury there. Um, quite advantageous, really. Um, let's not have it there, though. let's have it there. Then we can put a door in there. That makes sense. If you guys just, uh, if you guys dig that out, then these guys won't have to walk all the way around. And put a steel door there. Now these freeze traps that we get um, just sit on a tile. From deep within your workshop mm. comes a device of awesome force. The freeze trap, which explodes and scatters shards of ice, immobilizing enemies at once. I'm not sure if it does any damage, but as he says, it does freeze um, creatures and enemy um, heroes that stand on it. With 37 grand now, that's good. Um, which I think is very useful for this particular dungeon because they come at you. There we go, there's a dwarf. Level 4, no less. Now he's going to be a skeleton. Yeah, and these are all caverns, so I probably shouldn't want to go too far into this, as I say, digging them all up. Although this actually might lead round to here, in which case I don't have to dig up here. Um, which can only be good. Right, what's okay? No, okay, it's another dwarf, so there's nothing to worry about. Oh, that was that one's not dead yet. I can help them out, of course, with uh, lightning. Die! But yeah, we're fine. They're level three already. Goblins do train up pretty quickly. Um, this is less good. Maybe you should have gone up this way first. That would have been sensible. <laughs> Are you guys it still fighting? No, no, no. Gather all together. If you guys don't gather all up uh, against these, then, um, yeah, it's not going to go well. We really have to support these. I'm worried about him most. I have my dungeon. Um, just keep knocking him down. There we go. That's good. My dungeon completed anyway. So um, I can drag these off to prison and have them incarcerated, turn into skeletons or whatever else I choose. Let's get some more imps in there to gather these up. Got plenty of mana now. And yeah, my imps are going to go and, and I grow some more uh, heroes, it seems. Great. Well, I did ask them to, to be fair. There's another one somewhere. Level 2 monk again. Before we get too distracted with him, we should deal with these ones. Um, let's see, who do I want to keep out of these? I want to keep you you and you. Reason being we have a manufacturer, a researcher and a monk which are good against vampires. And a guard and other things over here. Another good thing about goblins is um, they don't become unhappy very quickly. So I can keep dragging them into battle before they're rested and they won't mind so much. Keep knocking him down. Get to level four there, yay. Now oh, you see he healed. He healed himself. Not that they'll do him much good. There is a secret known to monks which tells of vampires slain, whose method of destruction will deny them chance of life again. This knowledge is employed by them to overcome these fiends outright and banish them forever from the land of living to eternal night. Yeah, so as I said before. Those dudes can kill vampires outright. Um, which is good. We're still fighting this dude. Come on, kill him. <laughs> there we go. Grab him. How are you guys doing? Has died in your prison and has risen as a skeleton. Good. Skeletons will be useful also. Strip down a save. Game saves. What was this going to be again? Oh yeah, a library. I didn't build that yet. <laughs> well, I don't have any researchers yet, so it doesn't matter so much. Uh, monks. Not so much problem, monks. 
Like I say, they are a defensive sort of support class, so when encountered on their own, they're not that hard at all. They're not fighters, they're thinkers, they're researchers. Um, so he healed himself, but it's just delaying the inevitable, really. Don't do a whole lot of damage. Don't have any offensive spells. But as I say, I do forget what spells they have. Uh, having said that, that poor goblin there almost died. Succumb to his injuries, but yeah, we're good. One, two, three. I think I'll buy, build this now. Wonder what this other spell is. Can't remember. Soon find out though. Oh, let's just heal you up again. Lost a lot of health. Normally, if you heal a hero like. Again, if you remember to do it twice, then uh, you'll you'll manage to convert them. Okay. Don't want that guard, even though they are strong. I think I can cope with just having my creatures as fighters. And there's some gold, which I can take as well. I like having my dungeon heart. Successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. There we go. Now he's going to be an excellent researcher. In fact, the monks will be as well. I didn't really think of that, but a wizard won't hurt at all either. Now because um, it seems like we're going to have a lot of... Um, look at that. I was like one square away from breaking into that. Um, because we're going to have heroes and... Hmm, heroes and creatures together in this map, we're going to get a lot of people, a lot of creatures and well, they're going to get unhappy basically, that's what I'm saying. They're going to be like, you know, they're in the cre in the company of creatures they hate, um, they're going to be moany and sulky. The best way to get around that is to build two separate dungeons. One for your heroes and one for your creatures, but um, you know, it kind of keeps them apart for the most part. But it's, um, It's costly, and I don't have the space anyway. I don't think. Could potentially put... No, I couldn't. Not really. This looks like something in here, though. Let's dig up there. And any gold we haven't found yet? No, okay. You have taken over an enemy bridge. Good. Pleased about that. But the wizard is a really awesome researcher, and when he gets finally settled in and healed and such... He's sleeping right now. Um, he's level 4 as well. Our spells successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. Will be researched very quickly indeed. A creature has died in your prison and has risen as a skeleton. I worry that this lair isn't going to be big enough, so I'll just extend it that much. I can also put another lair there if I can't afford a. Uh... A graveyard. I see you have discovered a magical item. Haha, <laughs> there we go. What was it? Raise level? That's good. That's good. Right, so there's only one monk in there now, so we might as well. I think we're in a bit of a low ebb now with the. Oh, yeah, these. <laughs> with the dungeon. Not a lot happening. So, um. Why are you guys. Not dropping the right square? That one. Break down that door. You Thank have you. successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. There, that's 30. Hopefully that'll be enough. I got a comment recently on an older video that, um... I could put a guard room here, you know, as well, thinking about it, but no. A new spell has been researched. You can use like areas like this. The turncoat spell. Um a nasty shock for creatures when it's cast on them. A momentary delusion which persuades its victims that its friends are now its foes. Yes, you can use um areas like this as lairs. So the, the corridors and stuff that you build is, is, is less, because they don't have to be in rooms. Equally, you can use them as hatcheries or treasuries. Um, I really don't like doing it. it. It's just an aesthetic thing, and I know, but I have another layer up here if I really need to. 
Mm, that'll do. I'm just worried that I'm going to get overcrowding. In fact, I won't bother with that yet because I don't have to, but that's the option I have. Um. You have successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. Let's make sure we kill this Your dude. Your imp spell has been upgraded. Yeah, he's hitting me, but I'm hitting him harder, but he'll heal. Right? Yeah, he was gonna. He was gonna. But yeah, glad I did that. A wooden door has been created in your workshop. The turncoat spell as well, which you mentioned earlier. Um, yeah, that basically just turns one enemy creature to your side. And they are broken, that's good. Deal with him. Probably won't be able to get him. And I don't see a hell of a lot of gold around here, so I think a, a graveyard would be um, too expensive for us, which I'm sure the level is designed for. Honestly, they're quite clever like that. And you get a portal. You have claimed a portal. So they're going to come down, they have to go all the way around there. Well, we can mine that out now as well, because... There's nothing going to come from up here now. Hello. I love all these secret little you hidden passageways and stuff you find. So now they can at least get into the dungeon have easier. successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. Get a mistress first thing. A new species of creature has entered your dungeon. They almost died. Let's heal them now. Successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. You need a graveyard to store corpses. I know, I know, I do. Look you how quickly. Successfully converted an enemy creature in know, the torture chamber. I know, I know. Look how quickly these uh, spells are being researched by just him. A new species of creature has entered your dungeon. Yeah, it's going to happen a lot. You have claimed a room. Gonna have lots of new creatures entering my dungeon. A monk has become unhappy because he is in the company of creatures he hates. There you go. Your thunderbolt spell has been upgraded. And he goes off sulking. I'm afraid that's something that's going to happen. I don't normally like um, mixing heroes and creatures together, but it is rhymes. payday. A new species of creature has entered your dungeon. In this dungeon, I think it's kind of required. Game saved. Uh, how much wood? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. It's pointless building a tiny little um, graveyard like that. It's better to build a big one. 50,000 for one of them. I'm tempted, you know, I'm really tempted to see if I can get some vampires on the go. That will really stretch my dungeon capacity. 14 out of 30 beds used. Well, we've got... We have 6 to start with. We have 7, 8, uh... 13. Plus 15. Plus 28. So we, we currently, we're, we're okay for um, bed space, but... I do rather think we'll need some more. Let's have a look ah, and see what that is. I see you have discovered a magical item. That's yeah, what's well, prison. Not something we need. We can sell it though. We can sell it. Oh, R&D. We could uh, just keep it. Ah, there you go. Make happy. And another one. What's that? Restore health. Good. <laughs> so if we are going to have vampires, I'll, I'll want to bridge all of this up. There is a lot of water on this level, so I'm having two second thoughts about that, honestly. I'm tempted to take... A monk has become unhappy because he is mm -hmm. in the company of creatures he hates. I'm pretty sure monks are... Let's just have a look and see what... It doesn't tell me what his sort of... Whether he's a thinker... Oops! <laughs> Uh, I think monks are thinkers, but then why are they... Maybe the support creatures are not thinkers. Let's just have a go. Let's put a monk in here. These two won't get on. <laughs> yeah, you can research as well. There Your you go. Your possession spell has been upgraded. 
Interesting. You a can go training. Died in your prison and is risen as a skeleton. Oh, you can go training. Ah, I see you have discovered a magical item. Yep. A mistress has become oh, a gem scene. in the company of creatures she hates. Didn't even realize that's a gem scene. All right, well, we'll just get rid of that gold scene for now. That is a find and a half. Oh, that is sure. right. Created in your workshop. Unlimited gold equals graveyard. Thank you very much. Also, we could potentially look into. Um, all right, we'll make our lab bigger. What we could do, I suppose, is have it like that. Now, four. Yeah, these these four, three. Um, Passages coming off it because I've got unlimited gold, you know. I'll put in there as well. Um, there was no time limit with this, which I'm pleased about. I thought there was. I think there's just the uh, the threat of existential dread that's there all the time, knowing that something's going to happen. But I don't think it happens until you trigger it. So yeah, this is all there. A monk has become unhappy because he is in the company of creatures he hates. Now I know that'll make cre uh, creatures Your happy by putting them all together. Upgraded. Um, so maybe in hindsight, could have been better building this as a separate little lair. But they still have to share the food. They'll still have to train together and eat and eat, you a know, steel door has been research together. So let's lock that. I saw where you were going. I'm unhappy because he is in the company of creatures he hates. What's gonna happen? Hmm. So where does that go? Anywhere nice? Ah, that's where it goes. Sort of a. A back entrance, and that doesn't seem too bad. A lot of monks Your there. Of evil spell has been upgraded. Which I don't honestly think I'll bother converting because we have five of them. Although, yeah, how many's how many's enough? Sort a of thing, you know. unhappy because he is in the company of creatures he hates. Uh, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll get our res our gold reserves up to maximum because we do have a long way to go to deposit that gold. Um. There's no point making a door in there because I can't Your just go through here. Your creatures are unable to get to a torture chamber. Make happy, Asking heal, and increase level. Created in your workshop. That works. Just curious about this little area down here. No, your nothing hidden in there. Spell has been upgraded. It's good. A warlock has become unhappy because he is in the company of creatures he hates. But maybe we shouldn't be over. Oh, fine. Dig up there anyway. Why don't you? Um. It's a bit late to do anything about these creatures being unhappy now. I was, I was thinking I might. A mistress has become unhappy because she has no lair. Really? <laughs> big, big freaking lair. How can you miss it? Um, I think we have to do this area first, which is designed maybe like that. Anyway, let's break this down. It'll take a while anyway, because it's a... Uh, oh no, I thought it was a metal door, but it isn't, so that should be easy. A monk has become unhappy because he is in the company of creatures he hates. Like I say, that's going to happen a lot. Let's uh, do a little scouting run. As an imp. Well, that went well. <laughs> Alright then. Not a lot in there. Although. Combine this out. Make another lair. <laughs> I won't. I'm just getting sick of these messages a saying. Warlock has become unhappy because he is in the company of creatures he hates. Yeah. That. They won't become angry though, and they won't fight each other. Which is nice, you can stop mining that now, we've got 45 grand. Probably go to about 48 by the time everyone gets back here. Since they're still bringing gold back to the treasury. 
do like my dungeon hide covered in gold, though. It's just a vanity thing. It just looks better. Doesn't matter where it's stored, but I mean, it just looks better. become unhappy because he is in the company of creatures he hates. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Again, the goblins, not bothered. Troll, not bothered. Hmm. A warlock has become unhappy because I guess he's in the company of creatures he hates. If you manage it properly and know what's happening, you know, know what's coming, you could manage this area so that there's two separate dungeons within it. But I, I, yeah, I'm not bothered. You know, I'll just mine these out. It's quicker. Um. No, I'll get over it. A mistress has become unhappy because she is in the company of creatures she hates. We'll just have to put up with that. Right. This door break down. Where was that prison? Was it here? Yeah, that's a prison, isn't it? Could have just gone straight uh, through this door to it, but eh. Your turncoat spell has been upgraded. Nothing left to research. There is nothing left to research. Totally called it. Totally. So we have a hell of a lot of support troops here. A warlock has become unhappy because he is in the company of creatures he hates. We're missing salamanders, really, honestly. And I'm surprised we haven't got more mistresses because this is you a big an enemy bridge. torture chamber. All right, I have locked the door to it, but I certainly. Oh, there's a. F uh, yes. Um, why not? <laughs> Blow that up, please. A giant Thank you. become unhappy because he is in the company of creatures. Yeah, we're gonna get sick of hearing that. I, mean, I have locked the door to the uh, torture chamber, but even so, they, it shouldn't matter. They, they should be attracted to it. We've got one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten a creatures. I'm unhappy because he is in the company of creatures. He ten creatures from that portal. Guess we know where that goes. Thank you. Oh, ow. All right, you guys can go. Whoa, that's that's kind of inappropriate music, don't you think? For when nothing's happening. Um, I'm gonna take care of this turret. A mistress has become unhappy because she is in the company of creatures she hates. Ow. It is payday. It's payday. Oh god, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Alright, alright guys, hang on, hang on, hang on. Goblin's not gonna not gonna win that fight, not gonna win that fight. Let's see if we can bring you all up here. Okay, good, right. Mistresses. Shove you there. And you. And you. And get our heal spell out. Walk away. God. Anyway, we got this, we got this. Could have watched that level one mistress, because she's incredibly weak at this point. Very useful to have, but what I should have done really. Put monks around there because um, taken over an enemy bridge. they can heal our creatures, obviously. Your creatures are unable to get to a torture chamber. Uh, grab them. Thank you. All right, we'll build through there as well. And have our skeletons break this down. Plus healing ain't need healing because they won't do it themselves. Anything else in there? Nope, free prison. We might as well leave that since we've got infinite gold with this gem scene up there. 
also I think I might keep these guards we have capacity for them not the monk, the monk, the monk, get the kill the monk, thank you and I think my dungeon needs or its inhabitants needs a little bit of oomph so we'll get the guards as well and there's something happening somewhere well that's not really a combat is it game, you know I won't describe that as a combat to be, uh, uh, to be honest with you Now I think at the end of this level what happens is when you find when you find the um Keeper Malleus, whatever his name is, um he sends all your his vampires after you and he puts his call to arms there and you've got these uh A mistress has become unhappy caverns because she has no lair. To stop him. Hence the freeze traps. Um you have taken over an enemy prison. Let's not put prisoners in there. Imprisoning off. I just I forget exactly where it is. You know the route they take. A giant has become unhappy because he is in the company of creatures he hates. I think it's safe to say we'll have to come down here. So. We see some fear traps. Um, well, fear traps. Actually, fear traps probably won't work against the uh, vampires, since they're already dead and everything. Undead tend to be immune to fear. Hurry up and kill uh, Cardolan, the goodly hero. You're going to run into a bunch of other ones, aren't you? I can see this happening. Gonna go into there and in the company of creatures he hates. No, there's no one in there. It's just a torture chamber. And now you forgot what you're doing, aren't you? Because he's hiding in there. Oh well, we'll be back for you, Calderon, whatever your name is. We will be back for you. Don't you worry. Anything up there? Well, let's just go and kill him. Also, what's at the end of here? Nothing. It's just a, it's just a corridor to nowhere. You have taken over an enemy bridge. Right, where are you? Oh, you've disappeared. I can see a fear trap out there. Whoa! And suddenly it's scrolling really, really badly. Maybe I can fix that. Something to do with the possession spell bugging out. Let's just. I don't want to kill him in here, though. Because I might not be able to convert him. So come on. Because he could die. Because if he dies, it gets into a vampire, doesn't he? So, you know, that's not a bad thing, but. I hear. Oh, hello. Oh, Christ. Okay, run, run, run. Oh, run, 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 run. <laughs> okay. Can I scroll now? Thank you, game. A warlock has become unhappy because he has no work to do. I'll give you some work to do. Uh, you guys. A spike trap has been created in your workshop. That's a lot of you guys suddenly appearing there. I did not appreciate that. I can't destroy that one yet. Yet. Mark my words. I will spam the heal spell, even though we have, like, there you go, we have um, monks for that now. Let's find one of our more powerful monks and see what spells he has by possessing him. Level 4 there. Um, let's do this properly. Level 4, 4, 4, well, I guess level 4 then. Um, no. What spells have you got? Um, heal and haste. I think at level 8 they get the armor spell, but I'm not sure about that honestly. I'm just making that up. I might just be making that up in my head. Let me get rid of that. 
Don't want any more of that, thank you very much. And uh taken over an enemy room. I might have to sell this, honestly. Because my mistress is just gonna go all the way up here because they can't get any hot hot torture chamber action down here. Alright, what have we got here? What do we got? Let's have a look. You have taken over an enemy torture chamber. An elf. Alright, we'll have the giant. Trap has been created in your workshop. Uh that's only a level two. Level five elf. Now, I'm tempted actually to just kill them all. I think I will. I'm gonna kill them. Alright, fine, not that one. And has risen as a skeleton. No, not you either. But yeah, we'll kill you guys. Build a bigger hatchery to keep your creatures well fed. Oh, you're not gonna be happy, are you? Your creatures are unable to get to a torture chamber. You have successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. Oh, I thought he was stood there ages. God was just there, stood there Your trying to get into the dungeon. To to no, he's locked in. Your creatures are unable to get to a hatchery. Look how quickly that's, that's all getting manufactured. An enemy creature in the torture chamber. 